Be advised, mature content ahead. This podcast is brought to you ad-free thanks to the Legion of Demons at patreon.com slash N-O-T-L-P. If you like what you hear, there's much more at patreon.com slash N-O-T-L-P. Join the Legion. That's patreon.com slash N-O-T-L-P. And now the show. How do you do? Just a word of friendly warning. I think it will thrill you. It may shock you. It might even horrify you. So if any of you feel that you do not care to subject your nerves to such a strain, now is your chance to, uh, well, we've warned you. Man, I'm tired of working for the weekend. Everybody, I don't want it anymore, though. <laughs> you think that was the, uh, you know, the art music artist, the weekend? You think his employees are like that? Oh yes. yeah. <laughs> they sing that song every payday. He should cover that song, and then they could do like some badass stuff about how he's like, I own everyone. <laughs> hope he, hope he pays him well. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So, mm. uh. By the way, you saying that just made me think of, and I have to say this before I forget, uh, Sorry to Bother You, if you missed it, and that's the name of the movie, Sorry to Bother You, it's on Netflix, and I watched it, and it was like maybe my favorite movie I've seen this year. It's fucking insane, and it's funny, and it has a lot to say, and it's very dangerous. It feels dangerous, so enjoy that. But anyways... We're getting, we're doing cheerleaders, which are decidedly <laughs> we're less doing. dangerous. We're doing them. Yeah. Well, that's why we're we're talking about cheerleaders this month. Yeah. It's National Cheerleader Safety Month. Be safe. Yeah. We don't want it to be dangerous. Right. We want if you're gonna cheer, if you're living cheer life, hashtag yeah. cheer life, live it hashtag yeah. safe. But when April comes around, mm-hmm. you can be <clears> as dangerous as you want, cheerleaders. Yep. Yeah. You don't want to accidentally tag Satan in that post. No. Or the sheriff, B B Bub, B L Bub, B L Bub, B L Bub, B L Bub. Do you think he, they're missing a letter? It sounds like. <laughs> Do you think E L Fudge lives on that same street and they get each other's mail all the time? <laughs> That'd be awesome. He's like, oh, Freddie's talking about Satan's cheerleaders. Mm-hmm. Whom we are going to be discussing, but I feel like today. they're really all our cheerleaders now. Yeah. yeah, you know they're everybody's cheerleaders. Yeah, everybody's cheerleaders. So, um, <clears throat> <laughs> you, you, why did you call us into the office for this? <laughs> I'm glad you're all here. We yeah. recorded the show a day late. Yeah, because I couldn't. I was too tired on Sunday. And but not a dollar tired. short. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we went to concerts. I got a lot of dollars. We have all the dollars we need. Here's what we did wrong. We be, went be out. 42 and 44? We're, we're in our 40s, <laughs> and we went out on a Saturday night, the night before you spring forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like maroons. I don't want to lay entirely on um, the sun and the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I do. And he's like, I, I got to take do. some responsibility. It's not fair yeah. to blame the sun. I should take responsibility for being a sentient being. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't do anything. <laughs> so it, it's a it's a it's so Freddie um, went to a concert with Andy. Yeah, and I went to a concert with my mom. Yeah, uh, both of us in downtown Cincinnati. Yeah. We were like concert so swingers because yeah. originally Amy and I were going to see Yola, yeah. uh-huh. who's fantastic. If you've never heard her music, she's awesome. Seventies rock style. Um, and Amy and I were going to go. Then Amy's mom got tickets to see all them witches, all them witches, which is a doom metal band. Yeah, boy. Not and just some of them witches. All, all them witches. Them. All them witches. And mom was like, I don't have a date. And she was like, I'll go by myself. And I'm like, I'm not letting my 60 something mother. If, if there had been guaranteed sit down spots, there was none. I would have gone. That was really yeah. what held me back. That's going the with thing. your mom. So in it in Freddie uh, his Yola concert standing room only yeah and my concert with my mom standing room only what is happening 
<laughs> Why are we allowing this? I don't there's know, a, man. There's a seat, sheet, seat that, shortage. <clears throat> that is Thanks, now Biden. how I uh, how I decide if I'm going to go to a musical a concert event. How do we stop this? Um, and I know that some some people are like, that means you're old. Yes. Well, we bought seats. I, I am old. And then well, they changed it. They moved yeah. it into the ballroom. At the tap. Which, which yeah. did not have seating. No, we, I know we what you had mean. seats. But it's still a thing. They're like, this is perfectly acceptable. People will still come and do this. Stand for two fucking this, hours. The same thing happened. We had tickets to, not to cut you off real quick. No, though. I would love you to. We, <laughs> we had tickets to see Sleep at the uh, Taft, which is another dude. You had to pay band. for that? Yeah. You could just do it at home. It was, a, it was extra sleepy. It was that good premium sleep. <laughs> and then they moved it to the ballroom last second. This is when my foot was fucked up. I couldn't be standing for a whole show. And yeah. I we had we ended up not going. Well, you know. And they hardly ever tour, God fucking damn it. I say half the reason I bought the ticket was to sit down. Yeah, just to sit. That's <laughs> half of the experience for Ooh, me. That's decadent. You pay to sit down. Uh, when I go to a concert, I am, I am mostly just interested in hearing the music. You, and maybe I want to see them play their instruments. I do want that. Yeah. But I'm not the dancing mosh pit guy anymore. Now here, now hold on. Now what were you going to say before I so really cut you off? Oh no, no, no! I was just saying I was fine for maybe hour and a half, maybe yeah. two. Yeah. But there comes a point where she was like, "I'm gonna do a, take a break and do an encore." I'm like, "No, bitch!" Yeah. I looked at Andy <laughs> like, "Oh God!" This now this is when I just saw, when I went and saw um, Primus, and then <clears throat> they were doing like a tribute to Rush, and there were these four dudes older than me in front of me standing up the most of the other people in the crowd were sitting down at this point for the rush part but these dudes big <laughs> big dudes i couldn't fucking see i was like you guys are older than me sit the fuck down that's us at paul simon oh there was almost a fight at paul simon <laughs> people there were standing up. people at paul simon well there were some white yeah. women sit down <laughs> we i'm to, here to chill the fuck out we have to do something you guys it's one thing to to have a concert start like the band didn't hit the stage till like nine o'clock i'm like guys my i gotta get to bed but also like who in their right mind decided this was okay we deserve to sit we are goddamn adult <laughs> is it us that's no, just getting old because at the Yola concert, I admit we were probably on the younger end of the spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> there were people hanging harder than and we were. And there's these were old, old NPR people yeah. just chilling out the whole, well, the whole concert. So I think it's us. It's well, not the well fact my boss did okay. It's some of us, but some of those people have lived. They they've lived more nutritionally than we have. <laughs> yeah, and they probably didn't destroy their bodies through misuse either. But That's what I meant. Other, <laughs> yeah. Here's my other problem with it though, is because people start to crowd your space. Don't crowd my space. And they're not allowing enough room for people to do a little dancing if they're dancing along in the music or headbanging or whatever. I got yeah. like banged into so many times, especially by this one drunk lady behind us who kept taking pictures and like leaning on me to do it because she couldn't maintain her own balance. <laughs> to do it? To, to do, do it. To do it. To do it. To do it. To do it. <laughs> But also, I got, like, mildly gently groped by a dude. You know, it's like... I think Amy was trying to rile me up. She I came out of there and was sit, like, somebody goosed me. Well, I don't appreciate it. And I was like, what, I'll kill him. Just point him out. It had nothing to do with you. <laughs> it was the guy in the black shirt. Get him. <laughs> my yeah, legs, I'm at an my legs witches and, concert. And knees are killing me, but I will wrestle another man for you. I was just mad because it was so egregious. But like this guy, all of a sudden I feel like two like tap taps, like two little fingers on my side, mm -hmm. like on my waist. Ooh, that sounds like a beginning to a horror story. Yes. And I look over and there's a guy trying to get past me. So he gets past me and I watch him go up to the man in front of me to get past that dude and tap him on the arm. Mm -hmm. So why did I have to get your fingers? Oh, but he didn't put his fingers in your butt. On my waist. No, but it was still. Well, no, I, I, I agree. I just, I had a whole different idea of what oh, happened. Oh, no, nothing went in my butt. Okay. There was no actual goose. Okay. That, I no, agree. Is that what you, is that what a goosing is to you? It's Goose a butt thing. Yeah, it's a butt See, thing. See, I always thought being goosed was when someone just jabs their hands into your ribs. No. No. Oh, wow. I've been misusing that my whole life. But that's okay. So I don't have occasion to use it so many times. Well, you've misused the word. Goosed. 
But I gotta relearn some shit. It's okay. <laughs> but so I'm gl- I'm glad you put. But that is yeah. you're not. Don't touch people uh, yeah. up up there. And like you said, he touched the dude. On, like uh, clearly, mm-hmm. he was like, oh, I'm gonna get a little a little waste action. I got that woman fired. Well, did somebody goose you? Said my boss goosed me. <laughs> well, to be fair, yeah. if, if they did what you just described, they should still yeah. probably yeah, she put have put been fired. fired. <laughs> in, the, in your ribs with your fingers. Yeah, that's that not seems a good fireable. thing either. Yeah, that's actionable. He's a little joke. Yeah. <laughs> For laughter's sake. Mm. So anyway, um, I'll have my link out to my change.org petition uh, to make all concerts of a certain length sit down. So any politician that runs on that platform of seated concerts, you're going to vote for him? Oh my God, yes. There's going to be someone who lobbies for standing concert patrons. <laughs> it's going to be like, they want to require seating for a 60 minute or longer concert. Next thing you know, they're going to want your audience standing we're seated for like a 15 minute concert. And then the artists are going to die on the vine from the lack of enthusiasm in the, in the audience. Cause that's the only thing that sustains their spirit. What's that? If someone would say that no, there is, there are, be, there are people who are shouting that at us actually right now. <laughs> yeah. Let me like, pay I can't believe you go to a rock concert and sit down. So there's, there's two different lobbying groups. There's big chair and big legs, big chair, no chair, <laughs> big chair, <Yeah. laughs> big, no chair. Yep. <laughs> we represent big no chair <laughs> big floor oh uh, big no chair yeah big no chair big floor <laughs> that floor is big <laughs> big, <laughs> big floor <laughs> that sounds like a southwestern kind of legend and that's the legend sort of, of big floor <laughs> yeah legend of big floor we need to put out lots of retail items gal <laughs> around youngsters let me tell you this is the legend of big floor now you get out on that floor and sometimes you swear you could just hear the rumble of things uh, on that floor yeah it would have to be a mighty big floor. And the big floor, we filled it up with many plats of retail goods. Ha da da big floor. So big you could pack 150 very large men in black shirts and a few other size people amongst them of <laughs> varying. <laughs> big floor. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Sounds Thanks like, for the bit. Thanks yes. for indulging us in that. That was fun. Remember Big Bob's? I do. Still here? exists. Still exists. That was a great commercial, wasn't it? Yeah. That's, that's local humor for you. <laughs> Amy Actually, wrote one of their ads. They were a national Bob, Big chain. Bob's. Big Bob's. Wait, was it? No, it wasn't Big Bob's you did. Based out, I believe, Kansas City. Wasn't it? Um, wasn't it? It was Buddies. Buddies. Well, yeah. Wasn't it secondhand carpet or something? It used to be. Big Bob's. That's how. It, that's what the whole business model was, wasn't I it? Think it used to be, but I don't know if it still is. I think Graydon Clark, who directed this week's movie, also directed a movie called Secondhand Carpet <laughs> in the 70s. Are you being silly? Maybe. <laughs> Freddy? <laughs> silly? Why? No. Surely not. But hey, Amy, here's how broken I am. If somebody grew up me, I'd be like, ooh. No. That doesn't make you broken. Like it just, like, it's okay. If you want doctor. it, you want it. If you don't, you don't. It's, you don't want it. Yeah. I like a, I love unwanted attention. That's okay. You love then it's not un- then it's, it's not, not unwanted. Not unwanted, Andy. <laughs> so burn. Oh, You're so a Schrodinger's cat of a man, aren't you? I'm not in the box, or am I? You're a tree that fell in the forest with no one around to hear it. Now it's going to be harder for you to get those thrills as time yeah, wears yeah. on. But yeah, uh, it's okay to want it. It's okay to want it. It is. You got to accept what you want. I had to learn that recently that you got to accept what you truly want out of life and go for it. That's pretty deep, Freddy. It's very deep. It's a desperate plea for help. He's okay. (laughs) God. People are going to start writing me letters like, get that man some mental health. Bitches, I am trying. No, this is part of it. It's part of the, the journey. I know. So anyway. Anyway. How is everybody? Pretty good. I saw second hand carpet. It wasn't bad. It's not a real movie. Did you see on the TV or in a first run theater? Uh, One of those things you coin operated porno (laughs) booths in an adult bookstore. (laughs) You know, that old chestnut. It would have been hilarious if you just stopped at one of those. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> one of those. I mean, it was funny what you did, but like, if you could have just stopped at one of those. I, then I felt like I owed him more of an explanation. It would have been like... Because <laughs> I was worried he was going to try to get it on Netflix. And I I'm like, you. if he really wants to see it, I can put the GPS coordinates into your phone. 
All you need is a quarter. So, um, just just before we did this p- thing we're doing right now, we recorded a new uh, Origins introduction, yeah. episode 184. So, again, our patrons can get that. All that shit is at patreon.com slash N-O-T-L-P. That's where it is. Yep. Top of can is coming up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we just had a good, good, funny one. Yeah, oh, PP Lake. I loved PP Lake. <laughs> yeah. That's My a, mom loves a teaser. PP Lake. That's a teaser for you guys. And you, <laughs> sir, are no PP Lake. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a good one. It was good. <laughs> Everyone's stories were good. <laughs> it was funny. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm interested to see what happens to the gang this week. Yeah. Do we have when a they get tease? Squeezing. Well, I, tease, it's not Andy? my. Are you going to tease your squeeze? Oh, Andy? I don't mean to tease it. <clears throat> tease your squeeze. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You stupid top of canna. I'm, I'm teasing him. So. Uh, it's got, it's going to be a kind of a, not a let down from a bring down from PP Lake. Oh, but um, I was inspired because we're going to a concert. We went to a concert we last did. week, oh. and like Freddie's and Kelly are all into music right now. Oh, I'm always in there. Yeah. yeah, I'm a I'm a fair weather fan of music. Mm-hmm. I like music when it's doing well. <laughs> Oh my gosh, have you guys heard the new music? Uh-huh. <laughs> I love it. Oh, they're finally back. <laughs> yeah, I stopped listening for a while. <laughs> if they lost one more Grammy, I was out. <laughs> I just love music. Uh, my question is create your your uh, super group. No. Like musicians from any era, okay. time. What if we just Socrates. recreate these? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Kill your kids. Oh, so great. <laughs> we thought of the same exact oh. fucking thing. All right, what if all three but of us just throw come in, back with that? But then I throw in David from the Lost Boys <laughs> for some reason. What did he play? Because uh, I'm high. You can convince the audience that they're eating worms in the middle of the show. Yeah. That'd be cool. It's part of st- it's the showmanship. You gotta have yeah. showmanship. Uh, we He's a master the, of it. Just look at the playlist and when it says the word worms. <laughs> that's David's cue to come out and say oh. to the audience, audience, worms. <laughs> you're eating worms. <laughs> So Who audience? is that working with them? <laughs> John Malkovich was oh. directing. Oh, gotcha. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. oh. That was a yes and. That was a good yes, yes and. Nicely done. I am satisfied with it. <laughs> Let's package it up and send it to shipping. Are you spent? Thank you, Andy. Okay. That, that was a, enough of a tease heck of a you? job you just did with that. I and can't you can wait. have. Um, like musicians or uh, artists from like fictional universes too. Like oh, oh, Lord. Oh. That's too much. <laughs> I'm just going to recreate Josie and the Pussycats, <laughs> but with Gem and the Holograms. Just like too, oh, much, no. too much music. You <laughs> fucked up the Mandela effect. Oh, <laughs> I got dibs on them frogs that go sha la 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 la. Uh, you straightened it back out. Now everybody has the same Berenstains again yes. because you did that. <laughs> did I just realign our you universes? Realigned it. Like, you you know, squished some multiverse yeah. people though. <laughs> They're like basically preserves now. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. We lost Spider Gwen. Nothing matters, Amy. Gwen's got squirted out. <laughs> nothing does matter. There's so many universes out there that nothing matters. Yeah. So many hypothetical bands out there. So many hypothetical bands. Was it um, the so Stallions little. from um, Wild wow. Stallions. 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 Stallions? Yeah. That's a that's a or, that gets a very organic move yeah. from where Kelly was. Where we both were. We were both thinking of uh, the the super band that they assembled in Bill and Ted. Beethoven. Yep. So crates. <laughs> so crates. Oh man. The totally gnarly Billy the Kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you guys, you guys. Oh, you guys. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Is there anything that was going on that we should talk just about? movie related stuff? Yeah. Really. yeah. Well, then let's do I that. Like I'm good. Cool. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. It's time for straight to video Russian roulette.
magic comes from the fear, fear of death. Every living thing has it. The more fear pumping through the blood, the more power. Okay. You've opened a door that once it's open, it can be hard to shut. I shouldn't have kept this from you. It was a mistake. Liar. I know the truth, Mom. I did what I was taught to do. Winter eats fall, fall eats summer, summer eats spring, and spring eats winter. <laughs> what do you smell? I smell a man. Do you know why we're called hellbenders? Because we're feared. Have you been in my dreams? If you break my heart, I'll devour you. If they want to believe in hell so badly, I'll give them hell. I just want us to be people. It's not a gift, Izzy. Then why was it given? I'm not afraid of you, Izzy. Spooky witch stuff. Oh my! I had to because I didn't think that trailer is serving the movie. It's uh, the movie's very good. Was there more trailer than that? Yeah, that trailer was still going. Oh my fuck! What in God, the world? I was done with that trailer a long time ago. Yeah. So let me tell you, that trailer did not. Again, I said it didn't do the movie justice. The movie's really great. Um, it's a mother and daughter. Uh, mother and two daughters and the husband, the family. It's like a, so it's a family. It's a family. <laughs> it's like a whole fucking family, man, who made the movie oh together. Yeah. They made a legit, like, you know, homemade movie that looks like a million bucks. Would it's you say awesome. it's legit enough to not quit? I would say it's too legit to quit. Holy what? shit. Too legit. Oh, yeah. The I, prophecy has been fulfilled. Well, I'm fit to split. It's too legit. <laughs> <laughs> well, the best thing is I had heard, I'd forgotten that this was a family that made it together. <laughs> the uh, the yeah, family okay, that okay, makes it the, together, <laughs> stakes it together. This is a very sweet thing. I don't want to tarnish I it. I wasn't thinking with nothing my like that. Freddie was. Thing. He was being Pornhub jokes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, Pornhub's not what it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> These kids. Uh, the um, the movie is really a cool idea. It's almost has like a Rapunzel b- vibe in the beginning, uh, where it's this girl who. What's is, the name of the movie? Rapunzel. It, oh, Hellbender. Okay. Oh, Hellbender. Hellbender. Yeah. It is on AMC Plus, Shutter, and all that. Uh, so it's it's basically this mom and daughter, teenage daughter who then the daughter never leaves the house because she's her mom says she's sick and she can't be out because she'll spread it to other people. Stay in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad they didn't go that route with it because yeah. you know what? Some people when they, you're like make a low budget movie will make it kind of funny. Get your honey in here. You got to <laughs> stay in the house. Yeah. So they could have done that. They could. I've seen that legitimately a movie with story. This is a good solid setup, right? Yeah, that was a flashback to my youth. Yeah. We had. <laughs> I think everybody had a family that had a mom that just shouted from the porch. Hey! Oh my God, yes. <laughs> we all can't do it right there. Do you feel like that's a, like when people do that, they say they cast this mom and she came out all, all weird and stuff, you know? But this, she's not like this weird horror movie caricature. She they feels like a real cool middle aged mom who has a, a, they have a doom metal band, her and her daughter. I love cool middle-aged moms, boy. <laughs> You're listening to cool middle-aged moms. <laughs> the enthusiasts. Um, so <laughs> they have this band where they do like doom metal together and she drums and her mom plays the bass. Yeah. And, and it's just, you can tell this is part of their life too, that that's really just something they probably were doing anyway. Mm-hmm. So knowing that, um, and again, I didn't know that going into it. Somebody, I think had mentioned it to me and I'd totally forgotten. But when I got to the end and I was like, Oh, they're related. Oh, and they are too. It's the same. And then I realized it was just a family made this together. For, are you sure yeah, it's absolutely. not like Joey Ramone, Dee Dee Ramone? Are you sure it's not like Joey Hellbender, Mikey <laughs> Hellbender, <laughs> the white Shania stripes. Hellbender? Shania. <laughs> Was Shania fake related to somebody? Like just for the oh, no, I was just naming names. Just names. Mark. She's Mark Shania. Mark, Mark Twain. Mark Shania. <laughs> Mark Shania. You know how guys have first two names? 
Um, first, first, first two, two names, names and, then, so and then none at all. She's got those scrolls. Mom has a daughter. She says is too sick to leave the house. Right. And then as she ventures out and meets another other so people. The, the sick girls in the band with the mom? Yeah. Okay. That's like, so they do crafts and arts together. Just she's, you can see the, the impression you get in this first part of this mm -hmm. movie is that she's a caretaker to this sick kid. They like to make shrinky dinks. Yeah. And you got to spend your day doing a few shrinky dinks here and there. <laughs> that's all they do. You got to <laughs> keep the will to live intact with these homeschool kids. They use that toy. That's like a circle thing and you draw with it. It makes mm. all kinds of spirograph. spirograph. You yeah. get your shrinky dinks, you get your spirograph. And now you, you, can your dinks. <laughs> you got your shrinky dinks. You got your shrinky dinks. You got your etch your sketches. Oh, <laughs> oh I Chumba Wumba wrote I a song could. for Michael's craft store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What an interesting jingo. A jingle. <laughs> jingo. Jingo unchained. <laughs> jingo fet. Uh, jingo ate my baby. Oh, I haven't heard that name in years. Yeah. Um, Good one, kid. Thank you. <laughs> jingo all the way. Jingo all the. Way. Jingo bells. Okay, now there's just this mess of pop culture stew so in my brain. So the young lady gets out into the world a little bit, starts meeting people. Yeah, and then from there it gets strange. There's more to obvious. I don't want to spoil it. Don't watch the trailer if you don't know what it's really about. This is definitely worth your time, uh, especially if you're a fan of real independent horror movies. That doesn't mean it's perfect because they use some digital effects in the movie that don't read like professional but they read good enough to you hear what he's saying story. hey teacher leave them kids alone <laughs> yeah they tried their hardest they ain't your kids you should leave them on i said they ain't your kids that character's in the movie yeah that's the mom that's the same but one who comes out and says come on with <laughs> king <Kid! laughs> don't you go outside you got all kinds of packs Get, get your bottom back in here and get that peanut butter out for me. Don't yell at them, they ain't your kids. I gotta make a peanut butter sandwich. You gonna piss somebody out. Mind your own business. See, my, the screaming mom in my neighborhood didn't have a lisp, though. No, I used to guys. <laughs> no, the screaming mom, the screaming neighborhood moms in my uh, experience have had very shrill voices. Kind of like what we just had. Well, you're only hearing, so you're hearing yeah, my Kelly's lady from voice. a distance. Oh, okay. Oh, God, she, you're us. down the street. Okay. So, like, if you were standing next to you, can you hear me? Like, it would be piercing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I gotcha. See, that mom sounds adorable, though. No, mom? Not up close, bro. Okay, this could be mom, mom, <laughs> my neighborhood was terrifying. She sounds like the Grand Nagus. <laughs> <laughs> What's a Grand Nagus? <laughs> It's a Ferengi. Okay. Star Trek. So if I, I'm going to assume if there's a reference on the show, I don't know. It's, it's going <laughs> to no. be about Star Trek. I'd say you got a 50 50 okay. shot. Oh, it could be all kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah, it's good you ask these questions because people don't know unless they ask. Now, you did say there are that. There no stupid questions, right? Ferengi. At the beginning of this, you said, you know, you referenced witchy shit. So are we to mm -hmm. understand there's witchy shit? There's oh. witchy shit, but I don't want to spoil witchy, which, which, witchy shit you witch. You don't witch get. spoil which witch is which. I don't want to. That's hard to say. <laughs> you get a variety of witchy things. So there's some witches, not all of them witches. There's, oh. there's, there's oh. Not all of them. Not all of them. Ow. Now, there's a couple of visual gags in the movie that are really cool and original. And I won't spoil those. But you'll know them when you see them. Okay. I has will. It has a great cold open, too, which I. It, it gets you. It The open does. It le the cold open led me to believe the movie would be a faster paced movie than what it really is. Mm -hmm. So is it a slow burn? It's a it's kind of a slower movie. Um, it's definitely showcases the actors. That's the main thing. The acting is really really good. Um, so has his family done other stuff? Like short films and stuff, I think. Um, I mean, now the the skill level is not even across the whole family, but the the two leads are you know solid all the way through. Um, I don't know how you get to that point with your mother. Like you can do something that seems so genuine together, but it was really impressive. Uh, um, I can see it. I get it. Yeah. Just letting their guard down to kind of play, yeah. you know, I feel like there's, it's just interesting to be that. I was, I was never that open with my mom and dad, you know, that I could have done something like that. I get you. Um, but this is awesome that they did this. Very impressive. Hellbender. Hellbender. Freddie recommends it. Okay. 
Hal Bender. <laughs> and I stand by it. Yeah. Hal Bender, you get your ass in here right now. You got these Legos all over the floor. You're going to get my fucking foot all broken. <laughs> Mama, I'm out here being in hell. Daniel, you don't you talk to me about no hell. You get in here. Okay. Uh, what an unfortunate name, Hellbender. Yeah. <laughs> it's me, Jeannie Hellbender. <laughs> <laughs> she related I to Caesar? <laughs> she not related. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> blap, blap, blap. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, we got the wheel. The wheel of oh, the, the wheel of pain. What's what's the prize on the wheel? The prize on the wheel is a movie called No Exit. It's on Hulu. No Exit. Yeah, Not I, like I, the old I, movie? I saw this uh, advertised. Stranded by a blizzard, a young woman is forced to find shelter at a highway rest area with a group of strangers. Discovering an... an, an, an <clears throat> discovering an abducted <laughs> girl you say that then in a van in the parking lot she embarks on a terrifying mission to discover who among them is the kidnapper one hour 35 minutes yeah, so no exit we passed this up not to be confused with exit only <laughs> okay we looked at it exit only the tattoo yeah, or the you have yeah. above your or the anus. or the ironically titled gay pornographic film. Oh yes, exit only. <laughs> you are God. watching the film No Exit, <laughs> or whoever it is. Whomever. I pointed at Kelly. What if I'm right? Let's see if oh. let's see if I'm psychic. <laughs> <laughs> so tense. Don't play the lottery, Amy. Oh, <laughs> I gotta watch it. I was afraid I jinxed myself yeah. when I said we passed this by. Yeah. I was like, I've just yeah. earned it for myself now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, well, that's what happens. Them's the I breaks, I guess. Is this identity? This sounds like yeah. identity a little bit to me. Not, I mean, it doesn't sound like it's anything like that movie necessarily, but I just remember... <laughs> a group of strangers yeah, in a place. Yeah, and there's a mystery, <laughs> yeah. and like... It's got people in it. <laughs> I think there was a van in Identity. <laughs> there is. There's a bus. A there's a bus. Yeah. Did you like Identity? I in the, in the moment, as I was watching it, I was like, oh. And then... As soon as it ended, I was like, I don't think that was very good. <laughs> See, I was the other way I've around. I've never seen it. I didn't like it in the theater, and I saw it again. It's another cable guy. But it's one of those ones that, second time, I guess I just didn't have any expectations. I feel like... See, for me, that's a movie I can only watch once because yeah. once they blow all the goofy, crazy... Once they blow that fucking grenade, yeah. it's just like, well, the rest of this didn't even need to happen. Right. I wouldn't do it now. I'm a different man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't go back and revisit a movie I thought was just okay to double check yeah. my... Like, I do less double takes in general now. Oh, like, yeah. even when I'm checking lanes for changing lanes, and I do less double taking when I'm, like, <laughs> making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich if some peanut butter gets So, so you What about when you hear okay. something shocking? When I hear something shocking, I save my double... I save all my double takes for that. Oh, good. That way I get, so that's many. when they're the most that's when you get the most bang for your buck you get four takes for yeah. each one then Ooh. Yeah, it's like little caesars you doubled yeah. up on double takes so i'd make sure i'm absorbing those important life-changing moments mm. is it because you're older your neck can't do the double take anymore you can only spare one take i can't do it anymore <laughs> on account yeah. of the arthritis yeah. Yeah. when you have limited amount of takes also like there's also your body the trigger that you have, the reflex for survival as you age, it generously depletes where it's like, it's going to happen. Mm, so you're not shocked anymore. Yeah, you're kind of yeah, like, you you're like, eh, if, a, if, a, if a propeller comes off of a plane and comes through my bedroom. I would day, say that's how we're the opposite. I would yeah. say my uh, fear of dying grows. Oh, dude, ask me on different day of the every, week. <laughs> <laughs> different day of the week. I'm fucking all I think about is, is that cancer? Mm. Is no. this cancer? Which cancer is killing me? But does the weather uh, affect your double takes? Like in a, in a rainy day, is you, you get a little sore? <laughs> I Well, physical double what? takes, I do not like, make uh, them. Uh, I'm talking about metaphorical, mm. spiritual double takes. I could see the confusion. Freddie's having a midlife crisis. Yeah. Do you, Are we ready? Uh, do you want to talk about cheerleaders? Yeah. I'm super down. Audi pregus mea satana. Blessed be. Audi pregus mea satana. Blessed be. Night will be 
a night of glory such as we have never known. Hey, what are you, some kind of a thief? No, oh, wait a minute, I get it. He's a prefer. You've been asking for it, now you're going to get it. Don't concern yourself. He's taking care of everything. Yes, he's taking care of everything. Man, I, this is also a massive trailer. Yeah, we were you expecting Satan. That's what he's uh, oh, it's, the, yeah. it's the movie trailer, the movie version that you see in theaters. It's there's, the full length yeah, movie. You see those? Those are longer. Than <laughs> No, I mean, the important thing, if you come away from that trailer with anything, is that you need to ask yourself, are you a Patty, a Chris, a Debbie? <laughs> or Sharon? Which or one Sharon. is the, sa- the little sassy one? Uh, That's just like, I'll let whoever wants to fight. Yeah, oh, Debbie. She's my favorite. Debbie is DTF. Now, d- now, my second one, I think you'll probably be able to guess, and that's the... The blondie? With, 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 uh, with yeah, you know. The main one. No. Oh, no, I know okay. you're talking about... No, the girl with the real big boobs. I'll just say Sharon. it. Sharon. Uh, sure, yeah. Was she Sharon. the one who always had her hand on her hip? <laughs> Probably. Like her hip yeah. cocked? Because she, that she was, was the character choice. Yeah. Sharon would always have her hand on her hip. I enjoy the show. This movie. We were actually going to start looking for more of these like 70s like yes. goofy sex comedies. Because uh, Greg Clark wonderful. in general, like I've seen, I didn't realize, I'd never seen this movie. No. This was new to me and I loved it. Yes. But uh, I had seen Black Shampoo, yes, which is a black exploitation version of the Warren Beatty movie Shampoo, which is oh. weird that they even did that to begin with. Yes, and then uh, he made a movie that we saw on like Mystery Science Theater or something like Angels, Angels Revenge. Angels, or something? Angels Revenge. Oh, didn't we do that for our main or, attraction? Did we do that for the show? It was like a Charlie's Angels knockoff, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it was for ripoffs. Yeah. That's it. Wasn't on Mystery Science Theater. <laughs> it was on our show. Okay, that's where we knew it from. And That's what little, I tried to tell you, but you said no. Did I? It doesn't matter. My brain yes, is mush. These movies are fantastic. They're fun. Well, listen to the trailer. It led me to believe that it was a lot more kicky and fun than it was. <laughs> Not it was that it wasn't kicky. fun, but it was just a gentle movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a comedy first, I think. For a satanic a cult movie it's pretty gentle mm-hmm. yeah for as but, much giggling in this movie there as there was i was expecting more titties well i thought it was going to be a straight up and, porno movie and at one point more, <laughs> or more bouncing <laughs> like there it felt very much like th- when they decide to film their opening sequence on the beach and they're like we don't need adr it's titillating yeah, but they're like the winds blowing, and it's just like you're supposed. You can tell they're like flirting and saying double entendres to each other, yeah. but it's all muffled in the wind. <laughs> there's just so yeah. much. There's just hey, so much. <laughs> they filmed this movie in like yeah. two weeks or something. Yeah, there's just so much wow, giggling and weeks. laughing That's in a this long movie. Time for this. And think about these setups. Like, there's one boy on the beach. They're tearing his clothes off. The coach Stevie. comes, and the coach seems to be okay with it. But then the football, I mean, the cheerleading coach. The yeah, cheerleading coach don't give a fuck about she nothing. She really doesn't. And she well, kind of encourages some weird stuff, yeah, too. she's into some shit. Well, she like, you know, she's just like, whatever, I'm fun. I'm That's the, fun the director's now. wife, I'm, also an angel. You're talking about the, the, the cheerleading coach? Yeah, she looked mm-hmm. familiar, yeah. Miss Johnson. She was, she was kind of a um, a stiff for such a for a cheerleader to coach. Well, I thought she was pretty thought, groovy because yeah, she let too. them do whatever the fuck they wanted. I she, thought she was going to join in on some of the yeah, sexual shenanigans. Like, like she just came into the locker room, they're all butt ass naked, and she just sits down and has girl chat. She's kind of cool. She's too cool. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah. 
And I'm trying to and cut this, down I the number of times her. I try heroin. She was just too nice. That, that's maybe that's the oh, one. Oh, you before. wanted a, you wanted like a like a kind of bitchy. Yeah, or like a more. I was just more tough. I was expecting just more sexy stuff. Oh, yeah. Not that it wasn't Sorry. sexy, but more overt sexiness, penetration, uh, like I was yeah. expecting. <laughs> I was expecting like girls being thrown in the air with no top on and seeing their oh. boobies jiggle. Well, did you notice when the coach comes up, the football coach, not the cheerleading coach? Yeah. Exit only. Not no exit. I don't know what you're saying. What I'm saying is when the football coach shows up, he says, "Keep your calm for the game." Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. He bo- he breaks up this yeah. this porno scene about to happen oh yeah it's the whole thing you can't have sex when you're uh, when you're playing football yeah. yeah and i i heard that many times so it must be true right i know i i didn't i never heard it in real life but i heard it as a trope and things yeah they, they, they encourage those boys to stay pent up so they get all uh, aggro uh, so yeah. we've got miss johnson who's the cheerleader and coach captain teacher lady Who's kind of like a, oh, I've never even kissed a boy, but she's like 38. Right. Um, and then there's only like four cheerleaders for this high school. <laughs> four to six. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. The number I think changes too from time to time. We only care about four of them. Four of them. The, one, the ones with names on their shirts. Yes, the ones with names on their shirts. And That's when you know you made it. They are yeah. the world's ho- horniest teenagers that go to this mm-hmm. high school. That That's all they're thinking about. Then you've got the satanic janitor. Yeah. Oh my God. What a great idea. <laughs> Who's also, he's the horniest satanic janitor and he's at the school. And I love his wardrobe choices for a janitor. <laughs> Groovy, <laughs> right? <a> dazzled <laughs> denim for shirt. An old, like uh, overweight uh, janitor. He was very, very kicking. It was clothes. a swinging 70s baby. He had, yeah. he had a rhinestone shirt on. He was yeah. cleaning uh, uh, the floors in that. Mm-hmm. Everybody was fresh and clean back then. So fresh and so clean. Dang. I like the the medallions that the cult wears, and then With the seventies medallions are big in the seventies. Yeah, they, and it was a cool Just looking like Scooby uh, Doo. Doodad. Mm-hmm. Doodad. Doodad. <laughs> doodad. 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 <laughs> yeah, doodad. But I didn't want to say it. Let anybody oh, I know. <laughs> I said it for you. But you You're still right. let us all know. Why be embarrassed by it? Well, well because I knew anyway. I had a friend. Oh, you do. In you. Yeah. <laughs> you what you what <laughs> That's what James Taylor writes songs about. Guys. <laughs> no, Randy Newman. That's my Randy Newman. Just yeah. like, <laughs> but I meant your friendship. Oh. Is what James Taylor writes songs about. So I don't remember that James Taylor song where he wrote about Iggy Azalea. Oh, yeah. yeah, he wrote about two friends who bonded over <laughs> like fire and embarrassed. <laughs> He's like, I don't murder me new. <laughs> the Randy Newman wrote about Iggy Azalea, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> If you haven't, he you just haven't heard oh, it. James it's in Taylor, his piano bench. James Taylor's like, oh, that, oh, do that. <laughs> Still in the murder business. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a James Taylor. No, I think very few people do. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to keep a James ha. Taylor in your pocket. It is. You just talk gentle like Bob Ross, I assume. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what James Taylor's Hi, speaking voice James is. Taylor. Sounds like a Yazali, actually. Yeah. Because our cheerleaders and the football team are being mostly left unsupervised and they're assholes. <laughs> Fair enough. No exit. They sort of the, the girls come. They are not no exit. <laughs> Trust. <laughs> Debbie's like it's any a, ran, any hole in a storm. In a storm. Mm-hmm. Um, they call her three hole Debbie. <laughs> Mom hole. <laughs> three hole Debbie. Can you hand me that three hole Debbie? <laughs> right, this report is late already. Can you just hand it to me? <laughs> <laughs> so the, the 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 girls run afoul of the janitor by. Not being cool about him peeping on them. Yeah, and other things. they were so not cool about it. Dude. Yeah. Um. So Lame. and they were they were kind of like a holes, but he's an a hole. Everybody's an a hole. I think I'd be an a hole about somebody peeping on me, even though I want it. It almost sounded like you said peeping on you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go pee pee on you anyway. So he decides to curse. No, he was gonna kidnap them and bring them to his. His his cult, which he does, ish. He does because they're on their way. But he fucks up, right? Oh man, this guy, this fucking. The way you said, "Oh man," I thought one of the dogs farted again. 
Yeah. He does. I brace myself for nothing. He does satanic magic like a high school janitor from the 70s. Let yeah. me tell you. And we were using. Um, That's an okay thing to say because no one here is that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you just look around the room real quick. Like, <laughs> Sir, we were using. Wait, is that, that guy have a, does that guy have a mop? Closed captioning no. generated by whatever YouTube uses to generate those on the fly. And it was doing a terrible <laughs> job. Oh, I sent you guys a picture. I don't know if you saw it or not, but. The words that it thought they were chanting. It was pretty funny. Um, Real stupid. But it did its best. Listen, it did what it could. It's an old transfer. That's the only place I could find the movie. This is where the uh, Deb, I think it's Debbie, uh, where they're they're looking for a virgin, right? And and she says, you're crazy, man. I ain't been no man since I was 13. It was trying, but it had. And the line is, I have, I ain't been no maiden since I was 13. But it really changes like the whole meaning of the sentence. It does. Deeply. And then the eyeball. I got to talk about that later. We will. So Miss Johnson and the gals are on their way to the football game. Mm -hmm. And they, the, the janitor, satanic janitor is on their tail. Satanic janitor, great band name. I was thinking the same thing. I actually, my, one of my Yahoo chat names when I was in the sexton rooms was hell's janitor. Yeah, yeah, nice. love it. Anyway, sounds like a rough job, actually. Yeah, yeah well, that, a lot yeah. of clean up. <laughs> Janitor is such a fun name. It is right. Yeah, that's a really fun name. I'll get you a satanic <laughs> janitor <laughs> and some sawdust <laughs> to clean up your vomit. <laughs> <laughs> he runs them off the road. He, he puts his. He's driving and puts a spell on them, and then they yeah, they that's right. drive off by themselves, right? <laughs> Which you're not supposed to do. Wait till you stop yeah. <laughs> driving before you try to cast a spell or a and, curse. Or they're anything. like they're staring at the car. They're like, "There's an engine, a motor. There's a motor in there." Well, they're girls, you There's know. They don't know about cars. <laughs> it was like, come insanely on, insanely like. Uh, it's so fun. They're just, nobody. Everybody was just being silly. It felt like a Playboy comic. Yeah, yeah it did. Didn't, With a little bit less out. thought. We're just yeah. talking about something else that reminded us of Playboy comics. Mm-mm. Okay. I have deja vu. Well, we were... Okay. The <laughs> She's looking at me. Janitor oh. rolls up like he's going to help them out. But really, he's kidnapping them and he takes them to the place. So, they get to an altar. Now, help me understand what truly was happening in this scene. Hold on. Yes, maybe... We might have been talking about Playboy comics oh, okay. recently. <laughs> yeah, so, well, I don't have deja vu, but it's int- probably because maybe the nature of these cheerleader movies made me think of it. Well, it might have been last week, yeah. yeah. We've been watching that Secrets of Playboy. Yeah, Secrets of Playboy, yeah. <laughs> sorry, Guapo. Anyway, Did sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just wanted to give Freddie his due because I said, nope. <laughs> As if, like, you are fucking crazy. And then it occurred to me, like, oh, wait, maybe I think we did. I do feel crazy lately, though. Well, you but are. in this case, you weren't. It happened. Our satanic janitor just has decided that the blonde that Debbie. Was, that's for him. No, not Debbie. What was her name? Uh, Patty? Patty. 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 Patty is the one Patty who with gets an the superpowers. Yeah. Well, she gets inhabited by the demon. He puts her on the altar and then like stuff happens. She gets like, fucked it, by the demon. She gets fucked by the, Like she's <laughs> naked. Like she gets like, <laughs> she gets up on there. Nude. <laughs> just giggling thinking of Quentin in this scene for some reason. And he's trying to touch her on the altar, but the devil won't let him. Mm-hmm. And he's like, no, she's mine. You said. And the devil's like, I said, hello. I'm the devil. Devil. I lie. <laughs> he did say that. Don't <laughs> be so gullible. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Janitor. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's pronounced honey tour. <laughs> I feel like that is so at a this joke point, from Scrubs, maybe. He is he struck <laughs> down by the devil or something? Struck. And they kind of come out of their like fog and you realize the women don't really know what just happened to them anymore. Hmm. They're like, gee, why is Patty up there naked? I feel like this was like why a is real he dead? I feel like this was a place where they were like, We didn't write this scene yeah. and, uh, totally. <laughs> It just felt very like all of a sudden. It. it felt very dungeon mastery. Yeah, it was like let's just okay. 
Now, what would moving you Moving on. Oh, we don't remember what happened. We don't know how we got here. Anyways, it works a day, and you get all the medals and the treasure chest. So, so you then you now find yourself at the satanic compound. Like, yeah. that was what that moment was. Yeah. We got to move yes. this to the next part of the movie. Uh, don't even roll for it. You disarm the trap on the entryway. So they get in his truck, and they're like, we got to find somebody to report this dead body in the accident. So they're rolling in on the road, and they uh, stumble across a bum. Mm-hmm. John Carradine. John yeah. Carradine. The great <laughs> John Carradine. Yep. This character had no upper teeth. <laughs> so that means John Karen Carradine had no upper teeth. No, He's that old. Was a, that was a $40,000 yeah. digital effect at the time. I don't believe you one bit. It was a 40,000-year-old John Carradine. Was this 76? It's like a quarter 77? million dollars in today's money. 78? Keep counting. Anyway. So he's like, I'm going to be a crazy old bum and not really say anything Mm -hmm. to answer any of your questions, Mm -hmm. but eventually directs them down the road. And you're like, there's a town down there. (laughs) Name of the town. Yeah. Nether. It's nether. I like, I like that region. (laughs) You like that nether region? It reminded me of like No Bog from uh, Troll. Yeah. It's like a very obvious name what was for the name a, of the, a satanic town. We <laughs> have a uh, town some, in, a, in a Mr. Boogity. Some stinky, stinky, there's some stinky, stinky, muggy, gross weather coming into the nether region. <laughs> it's going to smell like ass and be <laughs> twice as hot. That's the local forecast. Yeah, well. And they roll up on the sheriff's house. Sheriff B. L. Bub. Yep. Yep. Are you getting it now, listeners? (laughs) Are you understanding what's happening here? His last name was Bub. Do you feel the E and the E stood for something? B. L. Yeah. Do you feel like? Do you feel like there was like a a a real creative uh, argument here, where like one guy was like, "Look." Make his last name Zebub. <laughs> and then the other guy was like, That's too on the nose, man. BL Bub. It gives like a, he's like, Is it or isn't it? It's like, Dude, Zebub. It doesn't make sense. No one is named, there's no character named BL Bub. It's like a Batman character. <laughs> And he's like, no, man. Like, like I don't Har- want to be too exact, man. It's like Harleen Quinn. Yeah, but not, th- e- but not because. <laughs> do, you, but not. do you feel like the director talked to the prop manager at that point and would have been like, read the title on your script <laughs> and now look at your sign? <laughs> I think he did. Yeah, and he's like, I don't see a man. Cheer- Satan's cheerleaders rings art for me. Mm. Rings true. Rings genuine and, and vague and ambiguous enough to just fire the imagination. <laughs> I think the sheriff guy was like another muckety muck actor dude. Yeah, he's somebody. John Ireland. I think he mm. might have Oscars. I don't know. Mm. But yeah. like from the olden times. He's somebody. Yeah. So uh, the same with the satanic janitor. I think he was like a. Pretty, yeah, I've seen him face. A pretty I see him face. I've seen him face. Successful character actor in the olden times. And of course Yvonne De Carlo. And Yvonne De Carlo. Oh, I've seen him face too. Sheriff's <laughs> wife. What is it about older women with deep voices that just exude mm, they're just strong. Oh, she's strong. She's Lily Munster. Sexy. She was Moses' wife she was in the Ten Commandments. Busy lady. His first wife. <laughs> He wasn't the same after it came out. You know, big head. And they're like, oh, here's working on 11th Commandment. Oh, my God. And then she's like, you're never home. So, yeah, Ivana Carlo is a sheriff's wife. And they're like, oh, these young girls, come on in. It's going to be okay. Tell me everything. And then they, then you figure it out when the sheriff goes to check on the dead body of the janitor and discovers He's, they're part of the same cult. Man, this is where it gets real confusing. And I have oh, did they not know each other? The cheerleaders were part of the same cult? No. The sheriff oh, and the, the janitor. sheriff and the janitor. He didn't know the janitor? No, he did. They are part of the same cult. That's what I said. That You realize in that moment that they're together. Oh, you oh, realize. Okay, I you thought you said the <laughs> sheriff realized it. No. And I was like, no. he didn't know? I was did they, too. In the beginning of the movie, did they already show them doing like some satanic shit together? 
They show them like you know. I don't remember seeing stuff. the like playing metal. Uh, the sheriff, awesome. But I, you know, honestly, I don't remember <laughs> that that old janitor on drums and the sheriff is shredding up there on electric guitar. Doesn't matter. So the sheriff's like, "You really <laughs> fucked up, janitor man. Look what you did," and then kicks him down a. He cliff. throws him. Oh, because the janitor's not dead. Yeah, but yeah, now, yeah. He chucked that old dude right over the hill as like, he should. <clears throat> the fight was like it looked. Like there were no stunt doubles at all, mm-hmm. so these two old <laughs> yeah, that's they, they, both, on they both died on set. <laughs> I think they might have. I love an old person fight. Yep, <laughs> that's why Andy goes to bingo. I don't know. What I, you just mean like, by that. I don't know what to say to that either. Yeah. But I just like when old people fight. In Remember, didn't that used to be a thing? Then they try to do like the people who brought you bone fights. <laughs> Wanted to bring old people fights? I don't know. It's really all about the most awful thing I can think of. Although I've seen it's one not in as person. awful as bum fights. <laughs> I did see two elderly men get into a fight when I worked uh, as a bank. But teller. nobody paid them to do it. No, but it was okay. free. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Well, that's on them. That's on them then. And yeah. that was kind of funny. Yeah, because they're both little old guys, and then we got hurt. Uh, yeah. Basically, at this point. The girls are back at the house, and Avonda Carlo's got like an inkling that something's weird here. She gets it that the hot blonde girl mm-hmm. with the kind of vacant face is possessed of a demon, <laughs> and the sheriff is like, "Don't be ridiculous." <laughs> As Belkin would talk about, I want to say from time to time a truism that I like to hold dear to my own self. It guides me. What a transition. I yeah. thought it was start Bill Cosby at first. That was <laughs> like the vocal equivalent of the end of the black or white video. <laughs> I just morphed into all kinds of different things and people. <laughs> yes. You turn into jump the ha- I turn into a panther. <laughs> I turn into Are you gonna shatter my car windows when you leave? Uh I thought you had a stroke for a second there. No. <laughs> uh yeah, it's crazy, right? It's Kelly's personality chip. It's malfunctioning again, Amy. Like Can you, you get engineering on the comms? You know what if we have strokes and they speak in a different accent? And that's what I thought happened to you. Oh, well, you should be used to it. I speak in accents all the time. Oh, you're one of those. It guys. didn't surprise me in the Do you least. Wear a and her chin beard. A neck beard off too. I felt like it was a very normal situation. <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, that couldn't have been too unusual. <laughs> it's not unusual. Oh man. Uh, okay. So basically, Avondo Carl is like, this don't seem right. And then she pulls the sheriff aside. And she's like, we got it. Mm, I don't know about this. And then, oh, and he's like, no, 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 because we're going to get a virgin out of this crew <laughs> and we're going to make a do we super know? devil lady. I don't know. Do you know what their end game was? I get the devil up in here. I think the devil wants a bride. Amy made it. You made an interesting point that, like, that. She was Yvonne de Carlo's character's replacement for this demon. Oh, yeah. It well, it wanted a younger person. Well, it seems like she would be very, like, important in their little cult. Yeah, and it feels like that's where Yvonne de Carlo is. That's kind of her place, right? You know here. what I like to think, and this is where the eye comes in. The big, uh, the talisman eye that Yvonne de Carlo has in the little shrine, mm-hmm. and she talks to it. It's almost, it reminded me of like the magic mirror from. Cinderella. Oh. You know what I mean? Snow White. Cinderella, Snow or White. Snow White. Yeah, yeah. Mirror, mirror. And I thought my fan theory for Satan's cheerleaders is that that Whoa. thing is in fact an alien and that it's been talking to them. <laughs> it's been talking to Yvonne DiCarlo. Like, you know, it's had a little blonde hair up top. It looked like it was a ribbon, but it looked like it had blonde hair. <laughs> I didn't know what, when I you did said that. I at this thing. As well, when you said that about, you said How something about hair, us? the blonde hair across the top in the text, and yeah. I didn't know what you were talking yeah, I about. No I was like, I, I, I don't see it, and I well, don't know what this means. If you see the image again, you'll well, see. Now I'll know. You have the eye, which looks like it's made out of, like, leather or something and then there's this yellowish ribbon that is across it it could be either eyebrows or, or an eyebrow or it could be like hair but i mm, so, ha- so hair signifies alien to you no it signifies like <laughs> sentient thing right so i'm seeing this thing hair. so sure. in my, my imagination was that she was talking to it and it was doing her bidding but there was no satanic shit at all and that's the only way i can explain the tape recorder bit 
is that they weren't really Satanists, but they were serving some sort of weird alien talisman. No, Elise kind of figured that out, I think. And now I, I will also preface this with, I don't know that they were trying very hard to make any kind of sense. Again, I think they were just sort of writing it as they went. Yeah. Um, but she thought maybe the tape recorder was that they were trying to prove that that girl wasn't really like because he kept saying like she wasn't really she didn't have powers yeah so they're like trying to trick her into like revealing that she didn't really have powers (laughs) the absurdity of this theory is killing me i'm just trying to follow it like uh, i'm lost i felt like i'm right down a rabbit hole there I feel you guys are overanalyzing this. Movie. I think we might be, but it, yeah. the, the ending gets confusing. Okay. Well, because it, what it looks like is that they were never Satanists to begin with because they have fake noises on the tape recorder. But obviously, is that right? That's the confusion that you have yeah. with the tape recorder. Like, why would they have a tape recorder? Well, like, just, why are they faking anything? I, just, I didn't think they were faking it. They just, this was how they had their rituals. That's but how they got down. I don't know. I mean, basically, the it, it ends up, you know, like the girls figure out what's going on. They get locked in like a shed. They escape from it. They're they're running away. They're everybody trying to get away. Run, everybody yeah. they run into, it turns out to be part of the cult. The whole town is part of the cult, like, including Charlie Chaplin's son, who plays a monk. That, oh, the this town's is my people favorite. were hilarious. Love, this is my yeah. favorite part of the movie. Yes. The, you, you see this guy just in a robe and just feeding chickens. It was what a... A nice, gentle Satanist. There's yeah. some great comedy moments in this movie, like some real genuinely funny comedy you moments. Some, the like, sheriff has some great thro- like lines. All of yeah, like the adults, of everybody in the town elevates this yeah. movie. Yeah. They run as are good actors. He runs to the guy, the farmer guy, yeah. and he's got that pitchfork, and he's mm-hmm. threatening the girl. He's like, giddy up. <laughs> giddy up. <laughs> And she's just like these. These girls don't want to live. They don't. Can I tell you? Because they bear. They, no, like, Debbie's oh, Debbie's oh. idea was we'll run away and we'll try to find a phone and I'll call Stevie. <laughs> Stevie Why the will fuck save would us. you call Stevie, who's in another town playing football? How you gonna get him, bitch? But it's they, the seventies. They would just just let things happen to them, Ugh. like the the um the, the cheerleading coach when she was getting beat up. Oh my god, that was a rough scene actually. When she was getting beat and up. Apparently, by he raped her too because oh, yeah. they reference yeah. it later. But they also cut away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I she, blocked that part out. I guess I don't even remember it. Yeah, but she was just like, "Please stop." I mean, I guess that's what you would say. If you're I understand me. what you're saying. But she didn't no, seem gross. super concerned yeah. with anything. Like the uh, the actor, I didn't have a, a wide range. No, but yeah, it, it seemed like he was teasing her more than menacing her. Well, I, I think the idea is that it happens off screen. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because that's why, so it all culminates in, like, the girls, you know, were, they're all captured again. The the cultists are back near that shrine where uh, Patty got demon, demon fucked earlier. <laughs> yeah, you got, the, you got your, you got your goat wood thing. You got thing. your goat wood thing. <laughs> and so they're going to figure out which one is the pure maiden. And I. And they just go down the line yeah. and hold their hands over their heads <laughs> for applause. We should make an album that's just real moody, synthy covers of Iron Maiden and call it Pure Maiden. Mm-hmm. And it'd be like pure moods, but all Maiden songs, but range like, like you know, ah, ah, or a return to innocence. What I thought was great was he just brings up each girl one by one yeah. and they all are like, bitch, no, I'm not a virgin. <laughs> And it's so fucking funny because it culminates in them thinking the teacher is going to be the beer maid. But he's like, oh, you fucked up because you raped her. Yeah. Oh, now yeah. I remember. Yeah, because that was the twist. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. If yes. you could keep your, your naughty little hands out of the cookie jar and stop committing sex crimes, maybe this satanic cult get off the if ground. If you could stop having sex with the 40-year-old virgin teachers. Yeah. So, like... Yeah, they realize kind of they're fucked at this point. Nobody's pure, so nobody can be the devil's wife. It was a badass sequence as the different cheerleaders came out. Yeah. And they're, they're basically, they. it reminded me of those POW scenes where they're, where like the guy will be interrogating him and they spit in his face, you know? Yeah. And then they're like, well, everything's stupid. And he takes his robe off and he's still wearing his sheriff's thing and he pulls the tape recorder out which was playing music and and the groan like the <laughs> and i wasn't quite sure what to do with that Neither I, didn't were they. Think, I don't think i'm not sure maybe what elise said is like the thing that is tickling my brain the most Re- so, reiterate that for were me. the sounds coming from the tape recorder yeah. or just 
Yeah, because was the devil like around them now? No, he pulls the tape recorder out to prove that that the sounds yeah. weren't real, and like so, she felt like maybe they were trying to like make like the girl be like, "See, I'm making the devil make sounds," and then like, he's like, right. "This is a tape recorder. You're not. Ha- you don't yeah. have powers." But then she was actually making the sounds. Yeah, so in front was. of them, she uh, yeah. It turns out Patty really does have the power of the devil in her. But don't worry, she's using it for good, and she's mm-hmm. only yeah. healing. Stevie's she's like spawn broken leg yeah. on the football field. It was a cool it was that was kind of a very superhero origin story. Yeah, it was kind pretty of cool. I like this movie. So yeah. maybe my original thought was they're like, well fuck, this is all just stupid. Look, look at how stupid we were. We were wearing these robes over our normal clothes and we had this tape recorder. <laughs> like we're not real Satanists, and now we can't even get the devil a bride. I'm trying to get Amy to watch Hot Fuzz, I by don't the way. Know. It's a good movie. I, I said it pairs perfectly with Satan's cheerleaders, I think. It's a lot of humor. It's funny stuff. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, don't worry. They're all going to be okay as long as Patty can control the demon inside of her. Mm-hmm. I hope. Well, I hope so, too. We'll check back in with them <laughs> mm-hmm. a couple of months. <laughs> mm, see how things are doing. Can't wait for the reunion show. Yeah. But what mm-hmm. unusual use of the devil's powers to make your team, f- football team, win games? Hey, you use it for what you need. Yeah, it did. The stakes went from very high to very low. <laughs> That's like the way you return. That's like Frodo returning to the Shire. Yeah. Oh, which didn't work. He couldn't. That's true. He couldn't go back. He had the itch. Second time. <laughs> My Bilbo. No, I met Frodo. All right. <laughs> oh, new Lord of the Rings show coming soon. I know. Excited. Satan's cheerleader. I cheerleaders. thought it was a yeah. fucking blast. It was a hoot, blast. hoot and a half. I was just expecting something different. It's not the fall of the movie. I was expecting more jiggle. I thought there was a good amount of jiggle. I got enough Fair jiggle enough. for you. You got spoiled from with cheerleader camp. So just know. Yeah, it's not the fault. Like I said, I I have high expectations about cheerleaders in movies, mm. which are very base and gross. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's okay. I would have been cool with that too, but uh, this was, you know, I felt like I got a good amount of jiggle. I yeah, some I, sass mouth. I like how sassy they were. There was sassy. There was sisters doing it for themselves. And the coach teacher was pretty hot, eh? <laughs> yeah. Coach teacher, yeah. All right, we're done. Um, we are. Let me next week crack open this. We Just. have uh, one of our listener picks because mm-hmm. um, we do that every month, and mm-hmm. our friend local Fogel, mm-hmm. the localist, the localist. Uh, which and we will see him at Horham Weekend here in a couple of weeks. That's a TV show oh about a guy who solves crimes mm-hmm. <laughs> by being local <laughs> and knowing where things are. <laughs> no, it's the other Denny's. <laughs> you know, I know because they're he said his moons over Miami was really bad, <laughs> and he had to be at the Del High Denny's. So, that being said, we're going to watch all cheerleaders die. Yeah. So we will be talking about that. Next week. I'm still pulling up this thing. Hold on. While now. you're doing that, uh, we haven't talked about it because it's like sn- snuck up on me because things are still out of whack. But War Around Weekend is coming. It's happening. Yeah, it is. It's happening. It's a March, March 25th. One. Are, March ones are always kind of more low key than Cincinnati. It's September still a cold out. Yeah. Whorearoundweekend.com. If you mm. want to get All tickets right. and come hang out with us. Mm-hmm. Cool. That was perfect. Perfect timing. Thank you. Uh, these are BLs or. These mean? are our BL, BL bubs. BL bubs. BL bubs. <laughs> get, all, you get your BL fudge with your BL bubs <laughs> and your BL buds. You get your BL buds together. That, the way you, the rhythm your buddies. of you saying uh, BL, your buds. BL buds. <laughs> it sounded like one of those, light buds? like yeah. a 90s commercial. You have commercial. some BL buds? It sounded like one of those 90s commercial things. Like yeah. where they're BL buds. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> buy that for a dollar. Elise Combrink. Aw, like CCN. Ernie Perez. <laughs> it's weird, like, when you're like, we'll see you soon, and then I leave dead silence after Ernie. Well, Ernie, I'll see you soon. I don't know when I'll see you, well, but I, I hope it's soon. You're expecting them to riff on something, but yeah, we don't have to riff every we time. have to just name yeah. the name. I just always say hi, because I'm yeah, married we're, to we're that tired. patron. We're tired. Yeah, just go down the list. Mark Watts. Bill Farner. Blake Heath. Jeremy Cassie Gamora Burmeister. Triple Threat. Jeff oh. L. <laughs> Jeff uh, I own a good one. I own a great one. Brandon and Emily at Felines. Uh, Jojo Vlon. Oh. Jordan Ashley. 
Bill Chandler. Oh. Blaine Turner. Monica Martinson. Paul Gautier. By the way, uh, John Baptiste, Baptiste yeah, keep listening because his stuff is amazing. And happy belated birthday. And happy belated birthday. Alyssa yeah. Baim. Yeah. Dr. Brian. <laughs> that was like a Jamaican accent by accident. Sure. It was Jamaican at, at an accent. An accent. accent. <laughs> it was an accent. Yeah. Jamaxident. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Andy did oh my it. Lord. Did I say uh, Dave already? Dave Seabert? Nah. Dave Seabert. <laughs> Carla Gibson. Dustin Chisholm and Ace at Filons. I feel bad we don't name the cat names. Lucifer and Poe, right? You can do that. I can't, my brain can't hold another <laughs> single piece of information. I'm losing like There's too many pet names. I can't take Dates it. of birth now. Uh, I don't have any phone numbers. And last but not least. I come from a Lynn down under. Hey, old Lynn Walsh. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Man, I could eat. We did it, friends. We did it. <laughs> he can eat. I can <laughs> eat. Finally. <laughs> I'll let it do that's it. Not, oh, that's not the music. And now we're moving on to straight to video oh, rush. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Frankenstein was wondering if he should go to bed when his old boss. Oh, uh-huh.